I'll pick up the camera and we'll go down the workshop and uh, we'll talk about another project that I wanted to touch on today. Let me put the light on and set you down. So, soap. Yes. As you guys know, I've been making soaps of all kinds and all descriptions and all colours and all aromas and they are bloody gorgeous let me tell you but we're unsure how to package them and I've discovered that I'm not able to sell them without getting the recipes for each individual block of soap independently cosmetically tested which costs about 28 quid per recipe and if you're doing little batches like this just to play around then it just isn't commercially viable quite frankly but the uh, the soaps are fantastic they are really nice so what I'm gonna do for everybody in the pub who have asked for them is uh, we're gonna just give them away but I don't want to give them away in their raw form like this because of course well they're just raw bars of soap and leaving them lying around like that doesn't really look brilliant so I did try and package them and think maybe we can put a sticker on the side or something like that but it turns out that this packaging just will not work and you know what you can't actually see the soap so why do that instead I found some biodegradable shrink wrap on Amazon if you just search for four by six biodegradable shrink wrap on Amazon <laughs> it comes in these handy uh, 100 piece packs for around six quid which is really quite cheap so this is the plan we stick each soap into one of these little packets like so, and then we're going to hit it with the heat gun and uh, shrink wrap them on. And then these soaps can go into the pub and when the customers ask for one, they can take one away with them. So all I like to do, because I've tried this already this, today, one of the reasons why I didn't get so much done, I've been doing a little bit of playing around as well. But if we just position the soap neatly in the middle and then we take our challenge heat gun and put it on the low setting we can shrink we really can we can shrink our soaps there we go but you have to be careful because you can melt the packaging I've actually melted through one or two of these I hope you can hear me. There we go. So that's one side done. And then I flip them over. So this will be the good side. That will be kind of on display. And we'll go again. And there we have it, shrink wrapped soaps. So these aren't going to get all saponified hands when you handle them. And of course, the ends stay open a little bit. So, oh yeah, you can have a sniff. It's a start, isn't it? Not 100% what I wanted, but it gets us there a little bit. And I've also packed up a few of the other colours that we've got here, some of the cherry berry pink ones. These are fantastic. And I think they work quite nicely, actually. 
So after much packaging, this is the next day by the way, we've just done a jump cut and printing off some labels, you can see that we've ended up with some really nicely packaged products here. So no sharp edges on the plastic, I found a trick just to heat it and press it on the stainless steel with these shrink wrap uh, little envelopes, it's fantastic. So. We've got all of the ingredients on the back and the names on the on the back as well or on the front if you like and I think that's all you need. They would sell, I'm sure they would. It's just a shame, it's a shame there's so many hoops to jump through to be able to actually market your product. I understand why those precautions and regulations are there of course but it really does stifle startup businesses and uh, and puts a monopoly in the hands of the big boys so I'll be making more soap videos folks but for the near future it will just be for you guys who want to make soap at home so you don't have to buy it off the big boys and of course you can make soap then that doesn't contain palm oil or SLS which has got a bad rap which is sodium laurel sulfate and all that kind of jazz so we'll revisit this another day but as far as this video is concerned we're going to sign out and uh, well, we'll see you on the next one cheers <laughs>